I'm Wendy with Learning Resources. Let's look at hands-on standards, photo-illustrated lessons for teaching with math manipulatives. It's a professional handbook series for classroom teachers or even for math specialists. There are four books in the series just based on grade level. There's one for grades pre-KK, grades 1-2, grades 3-4, and one for grades 5-6. All the lessons very closely tie with the NCTM standards and your state standards. Hence the name Hands-On Standards. And you can see here from this chart all the coverage across the five different math strands as well as the individual sub-skills in math. The books are really about taking advantage of the manipulatives that you probably already have in your classroom. There are kits available for purchase that go along with these books, but like I mentioned, you probably have many of these manipulatives already. You'll see step-by-step -step photo illustrations of how the kids are really, truly engaged through the multi-sensory activities. These are great for students who um, need those high interest activities or that hands-on component to the lesson to really help them understand abstract math concepts. So let's take a close look of one of the lessons for grades five, six. This lesson is about shapes in the coordinate plane. You'll see there's a very simple two-page format for the lesson. The left-hand side of the page introduces the concept, extends the concept, and also offers standardized practice. The right-hand side of the page is the hands-on activity, so that's the step right in the middle. So let me walk you through this lesson. On the left, you'll see the typical things you'd expect in a lesson plan, objective, skills, but you also see, and it's very transparent right here on the page, the alignment with the exact standards that you're covering, so you know you're right on target. The top of the page is the title for the lesson. Right underneath is the background information. As I mentioned before, these lessons are really for the mainstream classroom teacher who wants to become more comfortable teaching elementary math. So you get that background knowledge so you can study up if need be. Then you follow the yellow arrow to the try it, which is the right hand side of the page. This is the hands on activity for the students. Most likely kids will be working in small groups now and they're going to be working to solve a real life story problem right here at the top. Each step in the lesson, or each step in the activity rather, is described, one, two, three, but you also see a photo illustration of exactly what the student should be doing each step of the way. And they're using a black line master. So let me show you what that looks like. It's just your simple X, Y axis, but it's key because you get a record of assessment for the student. My favorite part of the lesson is the look out feature on the bottom of the page here on your right. This is kind of a look inside of a student's mind. It helps you anticipate any problems a child might have and troubleshoot those. This particular lesson utilizes ang legs as the manipulative but again, because you're, the student is working with pencil and paper as a representation, this will help transition them away from always relying on the manipulative to a pencil paper 2D format. Okay, so after the students have worked in their small groups, you as the teacher will move back to the left-hand side of the page. You're gonna pull the kids together as a larger group, and they're all gonna talk about their exploration in the hands-on portion of the activity. And they're also gonna talk about how they solved the story problem. That's the solve it part right here. Then you're going to extend the lesson through more ideas. And lastly, the students will perform a, um, they will answer a question that aligns with what you typically see on a standardized test. It's the same kind of format. This just ties to this particular skill. So once again, you have students moving away from the manipulative to the pencil and paper question type helps transition them, and it helps prepare them for the standardized test. 